All right. It's a little late. Hopefully he doesn't need me to be here at a certain time of day. Oh, that lady's still crying on? about her little boy. <laughs> ah! Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not hmm? particularly. Arming up. Listen, All right, son, so this I is... know you got a mission. But right now, I need enough gun. Exactly. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Exactly. Unless you count herding cattle. Hey, wait up! He's just a boy! Yeah, yeah don't worry there. Let's hit the breeze, boys. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. Breeze. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that Wes Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he says. A more flannel-mouthed bunko artist I've never met. Look, vultures. I see him. First, did you and Eli go check it out? All right, let's go, Eli. Let me hit off that flask. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Well, I might as well get down and loot some corpses, eh? Man, this don't look too good. Did it let me loot the corpses? Somebody was so busy killing people they went and dropped. Oh, is that the Winchester? Yep. Ah, yeah, I got the Winchester. I don't have a saddle for a body. The corpses. Nope. I guess they got looted already when they were robbed. Come on! Killed and murdered. <laughs> so they leave a rifle. What? I think we're going to Ridgewood Farm, so... Can I get a blue dot for the marshal? Where are you? Where are you at, marshal? Right, where am I? Okay, I'll rejoin the marshal. Where is he? Let's go! What kind of man does that? The weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men is just poor plain evil. I think it's this land that makes the men, as much as the other way around. Poor vultures. This don't look so good. We best take a look, boys. Bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Their trail leads to Ridgewood Farm. Come on, let's hurry. Sons of bitches! If you want to run a gang of outlaws, Marston. Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? You know as well as I do, Marshal. One way or another, some men gotta die. Can't see a soul anywhere. This ain't right. Split up and search the area. John, you check the buildings in the barn. Okay, I think this is the 
the shed. Nobody's in the shed. Not much of a shed. in the knees if they'd been sitting on the crap and knocked them into it if they were pissing. <clears throat> All right, let's look at the barn. That ain't right. No one would board up a barn like this. Come on, John. Shoot that door open. Well, someone did. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> All right, boys, we need to get into that house right now. Damn! I'm going to use my brand new Winchester. John Marston, corpse looter. can make a run for the shed. Keep your head down. Right, now, there's the one more up there, but I can never get through the door to hold he holds a hostage. And I almost always end up losing the hostage, so I am going to try to snipe him through the window. If I can see it. Do people ever wash your windows? Uh, do I see? Is it? Uh, is that him? Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farm. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh yay! Okay, so 
can go loot some corpses. I need it more than you now. Got that straight. Oh, I think they're connected. Huh, I don't remember it being in the middle of me. I mean, I know I just shot the guy through that middle window, but I don't remember it being the middle room where he held the hostage. That was the last one. Oh, there's a guy up on the balcony there. No corpses will be unlooted. Actually, that's not true. I've missed a few so far, but... John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself you down won't. here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that chair! Just leave the horses out here where they can be shot, because no one shoots horses. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Shot, but I'm having trouble getting hey, off. Look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Missy. Get him. Oh. Norman Deke. Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Deke. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Jobs pay you twice as much. Alright, that's cool. I don't know if I'm going to be doing any jobs in town. Let me do.